it a cracker. Wanganui, the champions of the Meads Cup against South Canterbury, the team that they beat in the semi-finals last year. We're here in the River City and it's a lovely day. Wanganui fans are pretty confident, but these guys, South Canterbury, might have something to say about that. And as usual, first game of the season, there's some newbies, some blokes playing their first game. Harry, your first Heartland season, how are you finding things so far? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Good build-up so far. I'm pretty excited to play play first game at home, so yeah, it should be good. Nice firm track out there. It could have been a bit wet. We've moved the pre-season game. Is that going to suit your running rugby? Yeah, a lot better. Makes it a lot easier with, with a bit of traction, so that no, should be good. Dylan, a bit windy out there, though. Would that affect the line-out throws or your game plan at all? Surely not. Nah, um, <laughs> there is a bit of a breeze out here, but we'll play to the conditions and I'm sure we'll figure it out. Again, new season of Heartland for you. How are you finding things? No, nah, it's been great. All the boys have been um, really encouraging and it's a real good group of guys and we've got a good leadership team, so the boys are looking pretty good, yeah. Well, all the best out there. Enjoy your Heartland debuts. Cheers, thank you. And Simon Dibbon makes his way onto the field, leading the Butcher Boys. The champions of the Meads Cup looking to repeat that this year. South Canterbury in the green and black. Congratulations to both players, playing their 50th. You've got to love the game to play that many for your union. But also, congratulations to all those players on debut, either starting or coming off the bench. Wonderful for the players and the families. Great reward. I see he dropped the ball there. He's one of the new men in the South Canterbury side. But the referee was playing an advantage, referee Nick Hogan. Yeah, Nick, actually the referee on debut himself. So talk about players, but also well done to the referees having their first shot. Willie Wright with the opening points of the day, and it's 3-0 South Canterbury. Gee, they've defended well so far, South Canterbury. That slender lead, they took the points when they were an op opportunity. Horrocks, very experienced halfback for Wanganui. And there's another penalty. And there was a couple of men lurking offside there, actually. And the referee's going to have a word. And this will surely draw things level, because I'm sure that Wanganui will take the kick. Well, he had a double blast too, Mace, but I think it was just a warning. No card but the players are on notice from South Canterbury. Well, the hooter went while the kick was being taken, so three points all after 40 minutes. We knew this was going to be a tight one. Not quite sure we thought it was going to be this tight. Well, of course, Wanganui have had some great lead-up matches into this one, including that Ramfield Shield Challenge not that long ago against their near neighbours, Taranaki. Latu. He's a big unit. And it took three or four to stop him. Horrocks goes right. Oh, that was awfully close. See, they're having to do some hard work now. South Canterbury just defending, just hanging on. I don't think they have. Hakariah it was. His body position wasn't great, but I think his strength was such that he fought his way to the ground. Here he is, Gabe Hakariah. He's high, he's up, he's down. The big tight head prop. Referee's in good spot, Hogan. Having a look, consoling the assistant referee. Rugby decision, mate. That's what we're doing this year with referees. Looks like you're over the line. Get a good feel that you're there. The try is going to be awarded. I think there should be no arguments about that. Wanganui in the lead now. South Canterbury looking to get back into it. RC. Oh, turned it over, and now Wanganui come back again through Demonese. Outside again, and this is Nambanivalu, and the man in his 50th game, Simon Dibbon, gets the... Right, main freight, True Blue, Dibby and Elfie. Dibby, 50 games today. Did you ever think you'd get to this point? Uh, to be honest, not really, no. I've... Uh... Had a few ups and downs, a few uh, injuries and stuff like that, but um, just tried to stick in there and, you know, it's a little milestone that I've always sort of wanted as soon as I sort of got that 15 games for Wanganui ablaze and I thought, oh, the next sort of step would be to try and uh, try and get 50, so, yeah. What's been some of your lasting memories over your 50 games? 
Oh, just all the boys you, you end up playing with. You, you play in some different places. Like I would never have would have thought I would have gone to Ruritoria, and uh, rug, rugby took me there and a few other places. I met a few people along the way, like Alfie. We played together in 2011 in the Heartland team. So yeah, you meet, get to meet a few people and everything like that. So it's really enjoyable. And who would you like to thank other than Chanel who have, have helped you get to this point? Obviously the two coaches, Jace and Jason, Berg and Softy. Um, they've been my coaches for Wanganui ever since I've started and played in Wanganui. So um, if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be standing here. So. And mum and dad, because they are amazing rugby parents. Oh yeah, I almost forgot them. Yeah, mum and dad, they love it. The old man, uh, he'll travel anywhere to come and watch a game. So yeah, thanks to them. They... And Alfie, what does it mean to you to be sharing your 50th with this guy, something you've played against and someone who you actually don't want to murder out there on the field? <laughs> oh, I might want to murder him if he gets around me, but uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's a big honour. And uh, I think he had six years out of the union and uh, wasn't actually selected in the, in the squad at the start of the year and I thought I was going to be stuck on 49 forever but uh, a couple of people fell over and I got the call so here I am. Do you remember back to your first game? Yeah, pretty memorable. I watched about 78 minutes on the bench and trotted on and defended for about two minutes, don't think I touched the ball. So it uh, wasn't a hell of a lot of interest about it, but I uh, got a tie out of it, so that was, that was pretty good and uh, it kicked on from there. Yeah. And what have you found along the way? What are your memorable moments? Um, had a few ups and downs, had some uh, pretty good sides that we could have done better in and, and some not so good sides that we did do better in, but uh, yeah, just meeting, meeting different people and, and getting around the place like Debbie said earlier is pretty special really, yeah. And you must have a lot of people to thank as well. Uh, I'll get mum and dad out of the way early before I forget. <laughs> um, yeah, and coaches as managers and, and all the players that you play with, um, the odd physio hold together and things like that, yeah. And yeah, missus looking after the kids while, while I'm running around just sort of helps as well, which is good. Very interesting games as well. All of those teams on the left having their first home game of the season. So we'll look out for those results with some interest. Look out too for the sayings on the back of the main freight trucks. Don't get too close trying to do it. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Thanks to all of the people at all of the Heartland Unions. We'll do this again, same time, same place next week. <laughs>